time now for our nine remaining contestants to play. Fast finger first, hot seats waiting, so here comes the next question. Put these films starring John Cleese in the order they were first released. Fish called Wanda, Monty Python's Life of Brian, Fierce Creatures, Clockwise. Several of them racing onto their uh, computers. Now, let's see. Uh, this is the right order, then. We want the one farthest back in time. It's actually uh, Life of Brian. Uh, back in 79 was the first one. Then Clockwise in 86. Fish Call Wanda was actually after that in 88. And most recently, uh, Fierce Creatures in 1997. So that's the right order. Now, nine left. These got it right out of nine. How many? Let's have a look. Uh, only one again. Jay England will play Jay in 3.81 seconds. Very so far. And you need that So here we go again. Jay England, a postman from Irith in Kent. Up in the audience is fiance Rebecca. Jay and Rebecca share the same birthday, August the 22nd, if you want to send them a card. Uh, they also move into their new house together on the same date and hope to get married in Las Vegas on August the 22nd, 2004, which sounds romantic, but is probably just a clever trick by Jay to make sure he never forgets their wedding anniversary. <laughs> Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. Jay, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So let's make a start. Let's get you up to that first big milestone. Question number five is worth £1,000 guaranteed. This is question number one of a possible 15. Here it is. It's for £100. Which of these is a rich source of vitamin A and D? Cod liver oil, cod kidney oil, cod heart oil, cod glands oil. It's cod liver oil. It's the right answer. You got £100. <laughs> Question number two is for 200. Here it comes. In the theatre, what name is given to the group of dancers and singers who provide the backing for the principals? Introduction, verse, chorus, bridge. It's chorus, Chris. It's right out. So you've got £200. <laughs> Question number three is for 300. Here it comes. Traditionally, what is the name of the personal servant to an officer in the British Army? Batman, Ballman, Bailman, Boundary Man. Traditionally, what is the name of the personal servant to an officer in the British Army? Batman, Ballman, Bailman, Boundary Man. I'm not sure this one. Not a clue? No, not really. No, it's not A. I'll say it anyway. Let's go 50 50. Okay. Yeah. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Jay the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Batman or Baldwin? Batman's Batman. That's what I'm thinking. What Batman's Batman, as in du 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 OK, audience, uh, let's get Jay up to the next question, £300. This is the question he's stuck on. Here it comes. There are only two answers. Traditionally, what is the name of the personal servant to an officer in the British Army? Batman or Ballman? It's worth £300. All vote now. Uh, 72% saying Batman. 28% Ballman. I'll go with it, Batman. Even though you thought it was wrong because he's Batman? Yeah, got to trust the audience. Well, 72% of them. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer. You got £300. <laughs> Good trouble for things like that. If you've never heard of them, you are stuck. That's what Lifeline's for. Listen, don't worry about it. You got 300 quid. Let's get you up to £1,000. This is question number four. You still have phone a friend. Who played Mr. Darcy in the 1995 TV adaptation of Pride and Prejudice? Hugh Grant, Colin Firth, Greg Wise, Alan Rickman. It's Colin Firth, Chris. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> this is question number 
five. Here it comes. Which of these is an item of clothing? Basque. Celt. Lap. Slav. It's a Basque. It's the right answer. You got one thousand pounds. Woo! You thought you weren't going to get it, didn't you? Yeah. Right, now you've got a thousand pounds, Seth. That's good. You've still got that one lifeline. Phone a friend. Um, you and your family are fanatical Arsenal supporters. That's right, yeah. And Rebecca and her family are fanatical Spurs supporters. <laughs> How's, um, how is Christmas? Well, yeah, keep the families apart. What, Christmas? Yeah. That's so important. Keep yeah. the families apart at Christmas. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> OK. Have a look at question number six. You might as well play this. You're guaranteed uh, £1,000 anyway. You can't lose on this. This is for £2,000. What kind of dessert is a gelato? Sponge cake. Creme caramel. Ice cream. Fruit pastry. Are you a bit of a chef? No, not at all. I knew you were going to say that. Rebecca is. Who's the phone friend? Are you going to phone? You can't phone Rebecca because she's away. My nan. Your nan? Yeah. Okay, what's she, I can't call her nan. What's she called? Esther. Esther? Yeah. Is she your nan? Yeah, my nan, yeah. So she's an Arsenal fan? Yeah. Otherwise, she'd be a Spurs nan. <laughs> what's she called again? Esther. Hello? Esther? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Good evening. <laughs> You mean, oh, good. You're supposed to say, oh, good. Oh. Well, no, I'll tell you why it's good, cos you know what that means? That means Jay is in the chair. Right. All right, my darling, but he's stuck on the next question and he thinks his nan will be the one to help him. Oh, my God. <laughs> hope so. But you will. So, next question will be Jay's. He's telling the question, four possible answers. One of them's the right answer. It's worth £2,000. All right, my darling? Uh-huh. Okay, fingers crossed for you, Jay. Lots of luck. Thank Your 30 you. seconds starts now. All right, nan. Hello, like darling. What, what kind of a dessert is a gelato? Is it a sponge cake? Creme caramel, ice cream, or fruit pastry? Gelato? Yeah. Oh. Jay, I'm not sure. Shall I read them again? Yeah. Sponge cake, creme caramel, ice cream, or fruit paste, uh, pastry? Um. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Whoa. Time run out. You've got a thousand. Okay. That's guaranteed. Um, got an inkling. I think I don't know, I think it might be ice cream. Captain. What kind of dessert is a gelato? You I'll might go, play I'll this go with ice cream, yeah. Final answer. Take your time, have a look at it. I think it's creme caramel now. <laughs> <laughs> Or it might be sponge cake, yeah. or it could be fruit pastry. It's one of those. Take your time, there's no time. One out of four. What kind of dessert is a gelato? Sponge cake, creme caramel, ice cream, fruit pastry. It's worth £2,000. I've got, got the idea of gelato pastry as well. I've never heard that, I don't know. I'll go, yeah, fruit pastry. How do we get... Hang on. I don't know. I'm just thinking the word gelato okay. pastry. No, it's fine. Listen, I can't... I can't tell. There's nothing on my screen. Um, it's just that you were on it's ice cream. cream. Then you decided it was creme caramel, and suddenly you're on... Yeah, I'm being silly, yeah. No, ice sorry, cream. I'll go ice cream. Final answer. <laughs> yeah. Is it me tonight? No, definitely. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. You got £2,000. <laughs> I can't believe oh. it. I can't believe it. Poor old man wasn't sure, and you were nearly away at 200 quid. You got 2,000 pounds. Now, Jay, trust me on this. If you don't like the look of the next one, run out of here oh, like well, a stupid bunny. <laughs> well, I made it. Have a look at question number seven. You might like it. It's worth 4,000 pounds. In which county is the port of Lowestoft? Kent, Suffolk, Hampshire, Lincolnshire, Suffolk. Definitely Suffolk. 
But it was definitely fruit pastry just now. No. Well, we've been a postman, we had to learn the candies. So, I'm sure it's... I'll go with it, yeah, final answer. So, if I lived in Lowestoft, mm -hmm. somebody wrote me a letter... Yeah. ..you'd deliver it to Suffolk? I would. <laughs> <laughs> final answer? Yeah, final answer. It's the right answer, you've got four thousand pounds! Good man! You've got four thousand pounds. Question number eight is for £8,000. You are just eight away from one million. You've got 4000 at this moment. Have a look at it. You could double your money still. Here it comes. Who starred in the film Blade and its sequel? Wesley Snipes. Chris Rock. Will Smith. Cuba Gooding Jr. Wesley Snipes. Final answer. Definitely. <laughs> Seen well, them, yeah, seen them. It's the right answer, you got £8,000! <laughs> You're getting better as it's getting harder, <laughs> aren't you? Right, you have 8000 But, question number nine, you could double your money, it's for 16000 Here it comes. Mambo Italiano and This Old House were number one hit singles for which singer in the 1950s? Debbie Reynolds, Connie Francis, Rosemary Clooney, Vera Lynn. Nice current question for you. I knew it was a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I remember this old house was on the radio the other day and it was a woman singing. And I was thinking, for my era, I was thinking that's Shaking Stevens, isn't it? C. B or C, Connie mm. Francis, Rosemary Clooney. Not Debbie Reynolds? No, she's an actress, isn't she? Not Vera Lynn. No, I don't. I'm saying that. Uh... It's tempting. Why is it tempting? I can't think. I just think it's B. Sure. Thousand pounds still a lot to me anyway, so. A thousand pounds is a lot of money, mm -hmm. but eight thousand is, mm -hmm. well, it's very nearly eight times as much. <laughs> Sixteen thousand, you get the greed in this thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would Rebecca say if you lost seven thousand pounds? Mm. I just think it's B, I do. If it is, I'll be guided. But if it ain't, I'll be even more guided. <laughs> now, take the money. Can't be sure. Can't be sure. Is that your final answer? Uh, yes, yeah, final. Is yeah. it your final answer? Yeah, I'll take the money. OK, give him a big hand. Jay England goes back to Iris. <laughs> £8,000 better off. If you had just... Because you were going to go for it, weren't you? Yeah. Connie Francis was going to go If for you it. were just stuck a little bit stronger and gone for Connie Francis, I'd just have taken £7,000 out of you. And it was the wrong answer. Yes. Right answer was actually C. You were right, B or C, but you were going to go for B. Right answer was Rosemary Clooney. <laughs>